about when I meet my lot. But I often feel like since I met Alex, I've gained a surrogate wee brother. Oh. And I know, like, I know I know what it's like to have a wee brother. So if Alex is anything to go by, a little brother smaller than me gets all the attention and makes loads of noise when he doesn't get his way. <laughs> together for three years at the RIBA and we've been through a lot together. It was mostly his fault. <laughs> but all good romances come to an end and after three years I left the RIBA to go and work in Watford. He told me it was a good idea. <laughs> he said it was tropical and I <laughs> But I didn't feel like I was leaving my surrogate wee brother to fend for himself as he just met this shy, retiring wallflower by <laughs> the name of Clemency. Everybody, wait, raise your glasses to Clem. Yay! Yay! We love you! Oh, I think for the first few months after I'd met Clem, I wasn't sure if she worked at the RIBA or the local pub, the Masons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> but it soon became clear that Clem was someone really special to Alex and that he found somebody that made him happy. And it also mean that I gained another drinking money. <laughs> Weirdly, it's someone who could actually drink me under the table. <laughs> Are you sure you've not got any Scottish in you? <laughs> actually, I'm happy to say though that my two drinking buddies are now husband and wife, and I know that Alex is the happiest I've seen him. He was bricking it this morning. <laughs> As well as having a surrogate wee brother, I now feel like I've got a surrogate wee sister. And him and Glenn are the perfect match, and I wish you a long and happy marriage. Woo! Don't get rid of me. Oh my god. Right, to finish.